Okay, so here we are today to demonstrate the Sphinx camera mount that I've currently got set up on my Dynam Beaver. Uh, for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm using an external battery pack to power the Fat Shark uh, camera system. I currently have the Fat Shark. Uh, Pilot HD camera mounted on a Tower Pro Metal Gear servo that I've embedded in some uh, packing foam of the kind like uh, we can see what I cut it from here. It's uh, like what you use, like what computers come packed in or, or laptop, that kind of thing. And uh, it's a lamp strip laminated type stuff which you can bust apart fairly easily, uh, or cut it apart, and, and uh, that's what I've done here to make that. Velcro eventually will be mounted on the plane itself, but right now it's just sitting there held down with our bands, which I'll probably still use anyway. Anyway, oh, let me go back over something before we do this. Uh, what I discovered was that if you've got, like in this case, there's a, uh, the servo that does the rudder is a Detrim servo, and the servo I'm using here is a Tower Pro, so when they're not matched servos, I find I've got to use a servo reverser. To connect them to the rudder circuit. If I don't, if they're matched servos, like on when I t originally did this, I did it on that um, my broken um, uh, Frogfoot over there, SU25 Frogfoot, and I was just able to use a standard, you know, uh, yoke because um, the servos were the same. Get this back up over here. I have my uh, Fat Shark goggles and uh, their antenna and battery and then they're hooked up to my laptop with this uh, video capture module. Let me see if I get it in the light here for you, pardon me. Video capture module from uh, El, Elgato. They make, this is an older version, they make newer ones, but it will it converts the signal uh, to uh, a signal that my computer can use. So I'm all set up here, for instance, I can I can record now uh, this image on my computer or I can use also watch this image as if I wanted to fly for instance anyway so uh, okay one thing I wanted to go over too with this video was my goggle rig that I did I saw this on a flight test uh, video where uh, the uh, person uh, they visited, Alan, I think that was his name. Anyway, he had adapted these uh, Fat Shark goggles to, he said it was a um, welder's helmet. But I couldn't find any welder's helmets that would do what I wanted to do, which was, you know, basically what he was doing. But I did find this, which is a, a safety visor type of thing. That, that notch right there, the clevis, uh, is uh, used used to insert the plastic uh, faceplate, uh, in which case I'm not using that. Uh, I cut the uh, front band here that would, uh, that would come around normally. Uh, I cut that in two right there in the middle and then threaded it through the uh, where the head strap would go and I just, in this case, I just taped it uh, back so I can you know, leave it to adjust later or whatever or take it off if I need to easily. Um, you could screw it on, glue it, whatever, but I just, like I said, tape holds just fine. And then of course this has the adjustable thing at the back so I can put it on and adjust it because the, the strap just pulls the uh, goggles back against my eyes and I just, oh, it's very uncomfortable. Plus I put a little piece of foam here on the in the nose piece just to uh, kind of cushion it against my face. So it's, this is now a very comfortable uh, thing. Plus you can just kind of set it on your head, uh, set it back on your head, and, and uh, if you're not using it, tip it back and get it out of your way. Then the other thing, this uh, shield helps keep the sun out of your eyes, uh, which can be a problem with this. And also I've added a bit of Velcro right there so I can, uh, I can hook up the battery and uh, plug the battery then into the, into the port there. So anyway, it just makes it very convenient for me uh, very comfortable rig as opposed to the standard uh, fat shark setup. Any rate, let's uh, fire up the the plane. So, okay, now we're connected. 
Okay, now we're connected. And uh, we're going to watch the... Here, I'm going to pick this up. Pick this back up. Now, let's watch on the screen here as we, uh, we turn the rudder. As you can see, this is about the view. Get right down the wing from that. And let me show you this as you're looking at it. Head on with the plane. As the rudder turns, the camera, you can see over here too, the camera turns in the direction that the plane is going. It's heading. So you're looking into your turn about the same rate that your, that your rudder is turning. In either case, you're looking straight down your wing in this, on this plane. That's what she looks like. Now in this case with this pilot, it also, the reason I have the pilot is I can put a, a uh, chip in there and uh, SD card, I mean, and uh, record the flight. So um, anyway, that's my little portable, I want to call it, portable Sphinx, because it looks like a Sphinx, FPV rig so that I can use on all my uh, ready to flies. And that's, that's a wrap.